there you guys are. I was wondering where you went. You guys might be a bit confused as to where I am right now. I'm at the very top of a eucalypt tree, as you guys can see by all this lush greenery around me. And I've just found my first friend. G'day guys, how you going? I'm Louie, we're in my backyard, and I've got a couple cute cuddly friends that I think you guys might want to come and see. So how about I bring you guys along with me and show you these guys up close. You. Now I've actually found my first little fairy friend here. Can you guys guess who he is? I'll give you a hint. He likes to eat this very fresh eucalypt leaf. That's why I've had to go right to the very top. Can you guys guess it? Because it's not me. <laughs> they actually taste pretty awful. They take a bit like soap. You guys couldn't guess? He's actually my friend here. This is my friend, the Australian koala. Now I'm lucky, I found myself a little baby joey. A little baby joey boy in fact. Now this guy is not too high up. He's probably only about 15, 20 meters up, but if he was really scared, he can go all the way to the tippy top of that tree above me. Now, as I am perched pretty precariously in this tree, I'm gonna tell you guys some facts about these guys. A pretty gross thing about koalas is, the babies actually eat their mum's poop. And that's because these eucalypt leaves are so hard to digest that they pretty much only get digested about 75% before they come out again. So really for little babies like this guy here, that's like a little Nutri-Grain bar of just pure goodness. A little known fact about these guys is they're actually in the top 10 for the dumbest animals in the world. They rank number seven, which is very astonishing to me because they look pretty intelligent, right? Look at that guy. Is that not the face of intelligence? Now these guys are actually so dumb, they're really hard to keep in captivity. Have you guys ever been to like a conservation park or a zoo and seen their food? Yeah, right, that's it. All they have for food is branches of eucalyptus leaf. That's because that's all these guys can figure out how to eat. It doesn't matter if you cut these leaves up, put them in a bowl, if you gave them pellets, if you gave them a chaff mix, these guys would not touch it and they would eventually starve to death. And that's because they just don't have the ability in their brains to actually figure out that that is their food which is pretty sad, but it also makes it really hard to keep them alive in captive spaces. Now, this guy, since he's just a little joey, he won't eat that much, but a full-grown koala can eat four to five branches a day. A branch is probably about two or three kilos. Now, if you think about that, if a conservation park has probably 20, 15 to 20 koalas, that's around 80 to 90 branches they need to collect every single day just to keep these guys alive, which makes it pretty hard. Now, the reason we talk about conservation in Australia is because these guys have it pretty rough. These guys have two main threats in Australia, and sadly, we're both of them. The first threat these guys face is actually roads. Now, if you live in Australia, you've probably seen a sad little guy like this dead on the side of the road, and that's because they often come down from the trees to go and find a better tree, or even they just come down because they like to sleep in different trees than they eat in. And sadly, that means they can actually get hit by cars which is where places like koala rescues come in and they collect these injured koalas and they slowly nurse them back to health. The second thing that threatens these guys is actually deforestation. Australia has one of the largest deforestation rates of any other country in the world. And for poor guys like this, that means he's out of home. That's why you're most likely seeing these guys in your backyard because they're running out of places to live. So they have to come live with you guys until their home gets reset. Now this tree has just started shaking quite a bit. I don't think it can support the weight of me and this little guy for much longer. So I'm actually gonna head down and see if we can find some other friends. But what do you guys think about the Australian koala? He's pretty cute, isn't he? Bye mate, we'll see you next time. Now I've just been walking around for another hour or so and I haven't seen any of my friends anywhere. Not my kangaroos, not my wallabies, not even my lizards, which is a bit bloody depressing. But when you realize Australia has the largest rate of extinction of any mammals across the whole world. And that's probably why I'm not seeing any of my mates. Now, conservation is something that I'm very passionate about and I hope you guys are passionate about as well. So I'm actually gonna end the video off here and it's gonna make become my mission to raise awareness about all the Australian animals that we have and how we can help protect them. Koalas like that one can very easily be saved. All you have to do is go to your local Trees for Life botanist or even just your local park and volunteer and plant some trees. That's all, all we need. We need to get as many trees back into the ecosystem as we can so these guys can survive because otherwise they're going to die out and it's going to be our fault. All right, guys, I reckon that's probably going to do it for today. I'll come back if I can find someone on the way home, but I doubt I will. So I'll catch you guys next time. See you guys. <laughs>